I started to see that teaching and learning when it's not content heavy has far more uh, options for cultivating interest and agency from young people. So I could see that between the GCSE and then going in and teaching uh, the diploma program, but the diploma, I mean, that, that is still standardized. It's still, uh, it, it's still very, very content heavy. Um, and um, as much as I, I feel that there are, I, I feel that there's a lot to be, how can I say? I, 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 I personally felt as though there was a lot to be gained from doing more of what we were doing in an educational team uh, in an arts and cultural setting in an informal education environment than there was from following standardized curriculum in a formal education yeah. environment yeah. Uh, you you just had you just had far more flexibility uh, you can achieve so much more young people get to sort of take the reins and the direction often of where you're going. Um, you've got more room for, for for youth voice, and you've also got you've got that beautiful space where you can be free to make mistakes and fail, um, and allow young people to uh, grow grow from those experiences. Where I feel that most of the time in a, in a formal education setting, uh, it's very much about ticking the boxes of of, yeah. of, of of content. It's making sure that your curriculum is covered. And whether or not you're interested in it is is neither here nor there, because that is what pre-prescribed on the packet that you've signed up for uh, as a 16-year-old. And frankly, I don't, at, at, at 16, I don't think anyone should be signing up for for anything that's that rigid. 